So this question says in right triangle X, Y, Z. All right, so I'm gonna use a strategy called plug in picture just because I make a habit of as soon as I read that a question is describing something that can be drawn, I'm gonna to decide to draw it instead of imagine it. So here's my right triangle. Here's my X, here's my Y, here's my Z, here's my right angle. I'm told that the sine of X, which would be, I'm just gonna call this, what do I wanna call this? Little a, little b, and little c. So the sine of X, which based upon Sokotoa, hopefully that looks familiar to you, is equal to a over c, right? Opposite, opposite over adjacent. I'm sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. And then I'm told that that sine of x is equal to the cosine of 20. Okay, well, the cosine of a value, the cosine of, of an angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, which would be if this were 20 degrees, then that would make, yeah, that would make this A over C as well, which means that these two things equal each other, which means that sine X, I'm basically proving what they just said. So sine X equals cos 20, really only if this angle down here is 20 degrees. Now, if that angle there is 20 degrees, that means this angle here at X must be 70 degrees because all three angles must, must add up to 180. The question is asking for the value or what is the measure in degrees of angle X? The answer must be 70. I really kind of stumbled into that answer because honestly, honestly, they're saying, they're calling this sine X, which means we don't know the angle. They're asking for angle X, which means we don't know the angle, right? So when I draw my right triangle and I know I'm calling this X and this Y and this Z, I know that Z is 90. I know that I'm not sure what angle X is because that's what I'm trying to find. And then I'm given this cosine 20, so I'm given this angle 20 degrees, which means it only has one other place to go, which is here. Now, I confirmed that that's correct, right? Because I, I confirmed that the sine of X gives me the same ratio as the cosine of 20 would give me if I place 20 degrees here in this Y angle. So that gets confirmed, and through that confirmation, I can now say for sure that angle X is 70 degrees. So hopefully that helps.